today I have a new phone camera and today we're going to be scrapping out a CCC5. I don't know what trim package this is. It's not a Wascat, if you're asking. And um, this video is in 60 frames per second, I think. I don't actually know, but if it is, you'll see the explosions happen real nice if you slow it down. But this is a CTC-5 that I bought, hoping to fix it up. And, uh, well, it just let's just say it didn't quite go as planned. Power transformer is missing. And, uh, multiple, this board's got a bunch of wires that have been cut, as you can see down there. And, uh, missing all the knobs. Lots of things are broken. It's missing the convergence clover leaf. And the 21AXP22 is outgassed. So, parts is what this set is. Um, the flyback looks okay. There's a bit of wax strippage, but not a whole bunch. Um, that's mainly why I got this set, it's because of the flyback. And, um, so there's a lot of people outside today. It's December 3rd, and the, it's, uh, it's about 78 degrees right now. But, yeah. Just lots of missing and broken things. Just, it needs to, it needs to go, get out of the way, and let other things come in. But, um yeah so this will be a scrap out video i'll be saving most of these parts some of it will go in the garbage can some of it will go in the scrap pile like the blue lateral magnet i don't know if i'll need that but uh actually what is this thing it's not a blue lateral but centering rings that's what that is the yoke of course i'll be keeping that um and this is kind of a a learning opportunity for me too. I've never been inside a 21 AXP set. CTC5 AG. There's the serial and all that for you people who are out there into this kind of stuff. Yeah, see, convergence was missing. And we looked all over, we couldn't find it. But, uh, Jeep work is also going on up there. So, I bend that out of the way. I'm gonna go get some tools and we'll start ripping this thing apart. Um, I'll get this off first. I'll probably just hack the side off of my foot and uh, probably cut all these wires. Because this this chassis is 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 getting parted, the flyback's getting taken out, and you know any transformers, coils, all that stuff's getting taken. So we don't need to worry about wire wiring or at all. And uh, we'll also be taking the CRT out. And um, I just want to see what they look like. I've never seen one. I have a friend who owns a bunch of early color stuff. He doesn't quite know how to work on it, but he owns a bunch of it. Oh, yes, the yoke. And uh, he's encouraged me to take it apart and see what it looks like. But, um, let me go get some wire cutters and a quarter inch. Okay. My wire cutters. Just gonna go through and cut a bunch of these wires. And, yeah, I know I have to do this, but this is parts anyways. I think I'll just take this off of my foot, because this, this cabinet's getting burnt. Okay, got our tuner assembly off. Sorry. 
VHF, uh, sorry, UHF tuner here and our VHF tuner. We got our on off volume control. I believe this is a pull on. I do not know what the center tap is. I should say brightness. So, well, had to do a little bending. Yeah. Got our screw pile. I always save screws. And then we got our scrap metal pile. And our burn. So. Let's walk through again. So now we can kind of see inside here. Got some knobs for a TV that isn't this one. It's for like a Philco Starlight. And that. So. What the hell? I think next I'm going to be taking the chassis out. Ow. That hurt. So I'm going to flip this thing up. Boy, this is ready to come off. Stand by. Well, that happened. I didn't mean that to happen, but it did. It just kind of did it itself. Okay. Golly, this thing is a disaster. Set fine tuning. And then you got that's that's horizontal hold. Tuning maybe, I mean not, not tuning, speaker maybe. This here, got some bolts or something. Our six, ooh, look at this. And the wax just crumbles off the capacitor. Got our six AQ5, six T8, something. Oh, that's for the audio. Audio and brightness. And then our flyback, of course. And we got this thing. Looks like I'm going to have to pull those out before I can take this honky off. Yeah, so we'll do that. Okay, I got all the screws out. Two hands for this. Here it is. All her glory. Oh, hollow. Nice and hollow indeed. Let's see if we can get a brand off this. Oh, it is RCA, I forgot. It's probably the original tube too. X-ray warning. Let me go put this in the grass. So there's the front. Took the bezel off. Here's the tube. Very interesting. Weighs very little too. I mean like very little. Cause it's a metal bell. 
Yeah, first metal bell I've ever seen. Hollow as hollow could be. So that's that's very cool. Oh yeah. So this whole thing is, is high voltage. Very cool, very cool. We can't get this open. It's a rusted shot. Must be. Where do you push that down? Oh, I don't quite know. I kind of like to get in the pencil box, but I don't know. There she is. Color. RCA a big deal anyway I'm gonna keep the front hang that up and uh, as for the chassis rip the fly back out of it Anyone needs a uh, RCA CTC5 chassis, it's here. And tuner assembly. If not, they're going to go straight in the trash can after I rip what I need off of them. Along with this stuff, and actually I'll give this to a friend. This will go in the trash. That'll go in the trash, all that. Don't know about this yet. Pretty juiced, but I think I'll hang it up. So, if you or a loved one would like to take home what's left of a CTC5 chassis, contact me on YouTube through the comments or something. I'll get with you and I'll make a deal. If not, I'm just gonna part it. Come on. That's what I thought. There's my pliers. I gotta clean up this mess. Yeah, whatever. It's junk. So. Thanks for watching. Kind of an odd one, I know. Oh, yeah, it's so white.
thanks for watching and uh till next time